These are the pipes I will be using. This pipe is 2 inches in diameter, 1 inch in diameter, and 3 fourths inches in diameter. First I'm gonna cut this tube 5 inches in. The combustion chamber is going to be 4 inches but I'm giving it an extra 1 inch for a cone I'm going to make that transitions to the exhaust pipe. Now I'm gonna cut these triangles out of this pipe to make the cone. The amount of uh, circumference that you need to cut off is half be because since this is uh, the diameter of this is two times bigger then that means it has two times more circumference than this so you wanted them to match circumference in order to uh, match together I have cut the triangles I used a hammer to put the flaps in I tacked these to make it easier I've welded all the sides-ish, and it seems to be coming together nicely. I had to do a bunch of hammering, and I used the three-fourths pipe, and I just, like, um, wiggled inside like this in order to make this a circle and make the hole bigger. I welded uh, the one-inch pipe onto the combustion chamber cone. I wonder how well this thing works as a propane torch. I have a copper pipe with that's smushed at the end going into this tube. I'm gonna light it. Works pretty well. I noticed it works well as a trumpet thing too. <laughs> oh, my lips are dry. <laughs> I drilled a one inch hole with this hole saw. into the this beginning of the cone my one fourth inside diameter pipe fits pretty well and it's like 45 degrees from the exhaust I'm going to make this into an elbow I will cut this at like an angle to make an elbow and I'll also try to flare it with this ball peen hammer and I'll put the ball into the hole like this and then I'll hammer it to make a flare hopefully. The flare went pretty well. So, I, I ended up using this ball peen hammer, and then I had another hammer hammering above here, and then I made this nice flare. And the elbow is like this, so I cut it like this. Now if I rotate this, add them together, I have this. And then I'm, I'm gonna weld this. I welded this elbow and it fits into this hole quite nicely. Now I'm going to um, 
cut the extra parts that are sticking into the combustion chamber. I've cut this pipe so it, so it fits flush on the inside. So all I have to do is weld this on and weld the sheet metal covering the back up and then it's gonna be done. This is a finished pole strut. The sheet metal I welded on was, uh, I cut out a square, then I tack welded it on, then I used the angle grinder to cut off the extra pieces. It, it leaks a tiny bit, but I think the leaks aren't too big, that'll still work.